everybody. It's Wednesday and I'm Wanda Holt and I'm here to talk about things that I'm passionate about. My friends, family, food, fashion, faith. So today I'm live. I don't have a guest with me today. Um, but I, if it's, it is Wednesday, so I just came from pottery class this morning, and um, so that was kind of exciting. Uh, somebody there asked me if I was having fun, and I, I must admit, it's pretty challenging to me, because I, I don't consider myself to be artistic, so it's a pretty challenging thing for me to try to learn something new like that that is is so far out of my comfort zone. Um, you know, all of us, I guess, tell ourselves there are things that we can't do. So, you know, I'm not artistic, so I can't do pottery. Well, it's it's funny for me to be learning something that I said I can't do because I'm the one that's always telling people, never say can't, uh, if you say you can't, you're always right, or can't never did anything. And so now I'm the person saying those things, and I have to give myself the same advice. But it seems like it's not as much fun to be telling yourself these platitudes as it is uh to tell them to someone else, especially my grandchildren. I like to tell them, don't say can't, you've got to at least try. So I'm trying. I wouldn't say it's fun yet, but I, I am at least trying. Um, I've always struggled with low self-esteem, so I don't know if it's because I was a middle child or Maybe because I'm only five feet one inch tall. I'm always trying to prove something or measure up to people. Um, maybe it's the fact that I'm as blind as a bat. And I have always struggled with my vision and had to wear thick glasses. I don't know what it is. But I've always had an issue um, with not thinking that I was... Uh, special or good enough in some way. And I think a lot of us feel that way, but it's kind of a miserable place to be. And I've always had a tendency to get my self-worth, my self-esteem from the job that I held or uh, doing a good job or getting a plaque or an award or something like that, doing well, um, even down to things like, you know, always wanting to look a certain way. So I don't know if maybe that, that has fed my passion for fashion. Oh, I made a rhyme. But uh, I've always felt that way. You know, I want to look a certain way and act a certain way. And my sister says, I'm somewhat of a control freak, and I think it's because I've struggled with this sense of low self-esteem, and so I feel like that it's up to me to try to pull myself up or to be maybe something that on the outside that I'm not really feeling on the inside. Before I became a health insurance agent, uh, for many years, I worked as a uh, salesperson in, for a manufacturer's rep. And uh, I was selling electronic components, and so I traveled around and uh, called on businesses who used electronic components uh, to build their products. So um, things like semiconductors and resistors and all those kind of fun things. And I'd worked very hard. And uh, after 13 or 14 years, I finally got to the point where I felt like I was living my dream job. I 
I uh, had a great compensation package. I had uh, an expense account. I had a company car uh, that had a car phone. Okay, so I really felt like that I had arrived. I was all that and a bag of chips. I just want you to know. And so I was feeling pretty good about myself. Well, one afternoon, a, a lady who was also in the electronics industry that I knew uh, telephoned me and asked me if I had heard that the company that I work for had been bought by a competitor. Uh, well, no, I had not heard that. So, that was a pretty devastating event in my life. Um, all of a sudden, I had lost that perfect job. Well, it took a few months, but the handwriting was on the wall. I was going to be redundant, and I eventually lost my job. And so, in a flash, I went from having this great job and having all this self-worth that was based on my job description and my paycheck, and then it was gone. And all those fears, the self-doubt, the low self-esteem, all of those things started creeping back in. And I started believing those things about myself again. And I started saying to myself, well, if I had only been a better salesperson, they would have kept me. And all of those sorts of doubts just filled my mind. Except now, all those doubts seem to be based on facts. Because I had lost my job. It was a horrible time in my life. In my devotional book, Broken, Finding Purpose from Brokenness, there's a chapter about broken self-esteem. And in it, we read about the Apostle Peter and about his infamous denial of Jesus just when Jesus needed him the most. Talk about feeling like a failure. Peter must have been crushed when he saw Jesus right after denying him three times. Peter's self-esteem had surely hit rock bottom. He had decided that he was going to believe those lies that were in his head. He was going to give up on ministry completely and just go back to something that he knew how to do and do well. And that was fishing. Well, of course, Jesus found him. And he very lovingly said to Peter, Peter, do you love me? Peter responded, Lord, you know I love you. Jesus had to ask him the same question three times because Peter had denied Jesus three times. And I sort of imagine Jesus saying, well, then what in the world are you doing here fishing? You're not a fisherman anymore. You're Peter the Rock. You're a shepherd of men. I want you to feed my sheep. I'm going to build my church on your strength and your foundation of faith. It was a big difference from the way Peter had been feeling about himself after his denial of Jesus. Our self-esteem is not based on how well we perform our job or how well we can throw a pot in pottery class 
or how fancy our clothes or how stylish we're dressed. It's not based on our failures. As a matter of fact, it's not even based on our successes. Our self-esteem is based on who God made us to be. I am a child of the king. That makes me a princess. My success or failure is not based on what the world thinks. It's based on what God thinks. And he thinks I'm someone special. And he thinks you're pretty special too. So you need to believe it. This has been um, maybe a little something different today, but it's been fun to talk to you about self-esteem, and I appreciate you being here with me on this Wednesday. Please like this video and leave me a comment below, maybe a struggle that you've had with your self-esteem. Next week, my friend and entrepreneur extraordinaire, Debbie Trombley, will be here with me, and we're going to discuss some things that are a passion for her, like her outrageous optimism. So I hope that you will tune in next Wednesday. I can't wait for you to meet Debbie. Until then, 